A young girl filming on her iPhone 8 in her farm as the innards of her tractor looks like she's in a Boeing 747. Does it ring a bell? Yup, this video is dedicated to Laura Farms. Laura's household migrated from Sweden to the United States back in 1910 and began their life in Nebraska as farmers with a pair of John Deere tractors. Now, the family possesses an enormous 2,000 acres of farmlands. Her grandfather was in Vietnam as a CB and he launched a hog operation which in the late 1980s brought into an animal herds. Born on the 11th of May 2001, Laura was just 13 when she began her first cow herd. As a kid, she grew up helping her parents as farmstead and when she was 19, she turned into a full-time farmer. She comes from a tiny village known as Marquette Village placed in the Hamilton County of Nebraska. And I'm convinced that you'll not differ if I say she takes it all from her father. Her father is a very ornate individual and he too is an entertainer on the creator of the channel, Lead Farms. She did her schooling at Nebraska Christian Schools and joined the Southeast Community College in 2019 where she studied business administration and management, but she always hoped to take up the inheritance and practice as an agriculturist following her parents' footsteps. Growing up, Laura also had a lot of vocation changes with her, starting as a detailer for a year or two, and then she also worked as a nanny and later worked at a school for quite a while. While she was also contemplating on being an athletic coach, she had the military in mind, but eventually she became a farmer. Laura Farms joined YouTube on the 24th of April 2020 with their first upload made about two years ago. With more than 69 million views, she has managed to amass 370,000 subscribers and has uploaded 316 videos during this time. She's a fifth generation farmer and she's helping her family to boost up the husbandry with a new set of crops like retail white corn, yellow corn, soybean, and plant cover commodities like cereal rye and turnips. But that does not stop there. She also has a wide variety of cattle with pigs and cows and she began a full-time farming career when she first rented a 160-acre land for herself someplace in central Nebraska. She's very popular on YouTube and with an average view count of 128,000 views a day, she can earn anywhere from four to $500 a day, which could easily translate to about 15 k a month. She has an estimated net worth of approximately about $400,000, which is only from the ad revenue from her channel, and I'm sure that it does better than that, but this is what we have from her YouTube channel, Statistics. She also gets ad sponsorships, and she has her merch with a Patreon channel that would elevate her net worth considerably. The fact that she launched her YouTube channel with an iPhone 8 and a laptop makes her channel wholesome, and how far she's come in her journey as a social media farmer, we saw her prosper on the farm. Laura has lately come off as a woman who's empowering women and breaking stereotypes. She advocates the independence and the significance she brings by working on her farms. She preferred this path and now people can see her do incredible things as a farmer. I'm sure she's inspired a lot of people along her journey as a farmer and she's managed to make a living out of her work and her payment system has exceeded from physical labor and has paired with digital labor, making her revenue and her work a lot more fun and community driven. Her life is an example of wholesomeness and I admire her so much that I've started a small homesteading on my terrace as well. It isn't as grand as hers, but well, that's a start and I'm happy with the results. Our team is grateful for her, for the knowledge and the perspective she spreads through YouTube and congratulate her on her success. That's gonna do it guys, thank you so much for watching, subscribe for more and don't forget the bell, it helps out the channel a lot more than you can think, and lets us know that we're doing something right. Take care, stay safe, and we'll see you next time.